Good morning and welcome back to another sector with Prophet Lopez at the Prophetic Kona. This morning I'd like to discuss, or rather continue discussing, the series that we have concerning the woman, the Proverbs 31 woman, and we're reading out of the book of the Proverbs 31 woman by Dr. Mike Murdoch. I think it's very important that we continue these series because we're enriching our woman. And one of the things that we have to understand with woman is that <clears throat> man plants seed into a woman. And whatever you plant into a woman, it must produce. So what we're doing right now at the Prophetic Corner, we're planting spiritual goodness inside of the women that are watching these tapes, that spiritual goodness may arise up out of their bosoms. Let's move forward. Today's topic is money and possessions are not enough to attract her. I have heard hundreds of conversations among women regarding men they are dating or their husbands in his business. It is universally accepted that a man's financial status is an essential factor to the average woman preparing for marriage. It is normal to desire security. It is normal to desire to be under the covering of a successful man. If my daughter were getting married, I would be very concerned about sowing her into the life of the, of the dream in the future of a capable, competent, and deserving man. However, the Proverbs 31 woman cannot be bought. It takes more than money to get her attention. Why? She is financially competent herself. She is comfortable with money. She is confident without money. She understands business. Money and possessions are not enough to attract her. She is the Proverbs 31 woman. Yes, and I like to continue talking about that. Money is not enough to attract a Proverbs 31 woman because a Proverbs 31 woman is one that desires to continue to increase from her own bosoms. Now, one of the things that we're dealing with out here is a lot of women are feel, feel as though that they're tied down into their homes, tied down to things that they're doing. But I'm just going to encourage you today to continue seeking out schooling, continue to seek out business ideas because your way have already been paid for you. All you have to do is follow the road that God has mapped out for you. I like to continue in prayer with those who are going through certain circumstances and I'm praying with you that you get up out of those circumstances or if they're holding you down to the degree that your thought pattern, that your spirit is not free. I speak life into you this morning. I'm Prophet Lopez. Please go to the YouTube and subscribe to um, the videos. And uh, if you have any prayer requests, please leave it in the inbox on Facebook. God bless you until next time.